Hi guys! Merry Merry Christmas! This is the second part of my tag video. It's Christmas Eve and I happen to have some extra time. However, I heard on some of the tag videos that this has a deadline of Christmas Day. I am going to tag my five people. Please, please, please do not think I even remotely expect a response by Christmas Day. That's bad timing. I'm going to tag these people, and if you want to reply, reply. If you don't, I totally understand. And for me, if you want to reply in June, that sounds good. No pressure. Anyway, let's go on. I'm on question number four. What's the bleep you don't like? Hey, how about deadlines? <laughs> how about deadlines? I pick deadlines. Anyone else? Okay, all teasing aside, I guess this means about in life, general, not crafting, because if it's crafting, Here's your answer, quick and simple, nothing. Through the years, and I've had 50 plus years, I have, I sewed when I was in junior high school. I have crocheted, I've knitted, never very good. I can make one heck of a long scarf or one big afghan, but to knit socks, that's not happening. Uh, I have painted Although, not oil paints, you know, paint by numbers. I, I did that a few times. And that wasn't too long ago. No, it was, it was when I was very young. Anyway, so if it's in regards to crafting, there's nothing I don't like. Right now, scrapbooking just suits my life and my lifestyle. If it's in life, in general, oh boy. There's a few things that I really, really, really don't like. Uh, I don't like being taken advantage of or taken for granted. I, I don't like being disrespected when I've respected you. I know Kimmy Scrapper said she doesn't like rudeness, and I was going to agree with her on that, but I'm going to have to be honest. There's been a few times I've probably been rude, and not it wasn't intentional and here's the way I feel about that if I'm rude to someone I expect someone to be rude to me it sure will put me in check so yeah I still don't like rudeness and most of the time I'm not rude just because I do try to treat people like I want to be treated. And that's not just in front of their face. That's behind their back. So, I, I think my biggest what the bleep don't you like, it's not cupcake or a certain spice. It's not a color. It's how people treat each other. And I just don't... If someone has been kind and thoughtful to you, if someone has been good to you, whether you've known them 10 minutes or 60 years, I just cannot see mistreating them. Uh, somebody else, I forget who this was, had mentioned cruelty to animals. Oh, that's something else at the very top of my list. But you know what? It fits into what I just said. Treat people and others with, with kindness. Let's move on because that could be another one hour video. One thing you want your subscribers to get from your channel. Well, I'm still amazed how many subscribers I have. I don't feel like I'm a fountain of knowledge. 
I don't feel like I'm artistic. So when I get comments from people who say, I loved your layout, I loved your cards, wow, I mean, that is an amazing feeling. And if it inspires them or gives them an idea of how to get started on their project, that's what I want them that's what I want people to get from my channel. If your mojo is in a slump and you see one of my videos, whether it's a haul or whether it's a layout or a card or just me rambling and you feel motivated and exhilarated and you want to go do a crafty project, that is a great feeling to me because guess what? There are so many times I am in that funky mood and I watch a video and before you know it, I'm in there pulling out my supplies because I've just got to do something. It gets your mojo going. And, and sometimes I struggle with having the time to do projects. When I do get to sit down and rest and I have free time, there's like 10 things going on in my head. Oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should call this person. Maybe I should fill out the bills. I could watch this TV show. So I'm really glad when I want to get in there and scrapbook and, I guess, like I said, now make a card. You guys have really inspired me to do more cards. So that's something totally YouTube. I also love that people leave comments or send me private messages and say they just got a kick out of my video or something I said or did made them laugh. I think that's one of the best gifts of life is laughter. To have a good time and to smile and to crack up and giggle. It means right at that moment, life is good. Nothing is on your mind that's negative. So I, I think laugh, giggle is a good thing. So that's another thing. I'm glad if my subscribers feel that's what they may get when they tune in to my um, lengthy videos. What's your favorite craft or stamp company? Oh gosh, that's a hard one. I'd rather you ask me my weight. No way. Kidding. Joke. Um, I can't answer that. What I could tell you is if you said to me, what is your favorite collection or what is your favorite piece of paper from October afternoon? Cosmo Cricket. Sassafras Lass. I could tell you. I would probably answer very quickly um, because almost every designer of paper, I have a favorite collection. I will say this. One of the first collections that I purchased when I started to watch YouTube and I learned about designer papers because I used to just buy the paper stacks from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joanne. When I learned about designer paper, woohoo, the first thing I ordered was 100 Days of Summer by, what was that, Simple Stories. And it's still one of my favorite collections. So there you go. I can't answer that. As far as stamps go, Gee, again, can't answer it. I can answer it. Okay, my favorite stamp, not company, my favorite stamp is Lawn Fawn, and now I forget the name of it. Lawn Fawn Quinn's Alphabet. That's my all-time 
favorite stamp. But there's a lot more that come in right behind it. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Sagittarian. What new craft or hobby are you interested in learning in 2013? I've decided this upcoming year my new hobby will be fly fishing. Yes, I've given this a lot of thought. I watched a TV show where Gail and Oprah were fly fishing and I said, my gosh, that looks like so much fun. I can't wait to do it next year. And that was the biggest lie I have told <laughs> in 2012. Gotcha! Uh... <laughs> Uh, fly fishing? Did you guys... I want to know who even fell for that. Okay, because can you see me in waders in the middle of a lake throwing a fishing line in and out? That's my husband, not me. Although, if he was to hear me say that, he would have probably already had me a fly fishing ensemble purchased. Okay, this year... What I would like to try is maybe sewing on my cards and or layouts. A year and a half ago, I bought a beautiful brother sewing machine. Now, it's not electric and digital. Well, it is electric. <laughs> Did you think it had like one of those foot pedals on it? No, it's like not digital or anything. It's like that $99 special at Joanne, and I couldn't wait to get that sewing machine. I was just going to start right then sewing on my layouts because I love how that looks. And the, the farthest I got, I sewed a couple of stitches on that little piece of fabric that they put in your sewing machine. I'm not kidding. So I would really like to begin to sew on my layouts and my cards. Did you ever think you would make a YouTube video? Uh, H-E double hockey sticks? No, not in a blue moon, never. And the first video that I ever put up was a haul video and I had been watching YouTube for, geez, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I I'm not sure. I'm horrible with time frames. Uh, and I was seeing all these great products. And not only was I seeing the great products, I was seeing great projects. And I was like, oh my gosh, look how great that layout looks. I've got to have that fill in the blank cuddle bug that ink that marker and girls let me tell you something girls and guy i have a male subscriber now anyway when i did that haul video i went to joanne or michael's and i dropped about uh, 120 bucks that day let me tell you something. Till that point, if I spent $40 at the hobby store, like a craft store, for my scrapbooking, I felt bad for weeks. Uh, let me tell you, I waltzed right in. It was Michael's, I remember now. And in fact, it might have been Michael's and Joanne. I waltzed right in. I whipped out that debit card, and I was like, charge! YouTube has taught me quite a few things. I am going to say they are all positive. My husband, he may disagree with me on that, but I have learned how to do a better layout. I have learned what a good layout looks like. And most important, I have learned to spend some money on me. My hobby is 
something that's going to leave stories, a legacy behind for my grandson and maybe other grandchildren I'm, I may never meet or great-grandchildren. My scrapbooks are documenting pieces of our lives and good times in our lives and even some bad times of our lives. But they're in a book and oh, how I wish I had a scrapbook like mine that I could pick up and remember my grandparents and great-grandparents better. And, you know, it's well worth the money I spend on it. And besides that, besides doing those albums for someone else, YouTube has taught me how to do things for myself, too. And that it's not wrong to go out and drop some money on something I like to do if it's not hurting anyone else. So thank you, YouTube. You've brought me so much, even though, no, I never thought I would do a video. I am sorry that I waited and missed that time that I did. I wish I would have done them sooner. Now, who am I going to tag? Please, please, please remember, for these people that I want to tag, it is Christmas Eve. There's no way you can get this done by tomorrow. I don't expect you to. And again, here's the uh, disclaimer. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I have picked these people because I would like to hear their answers. My first person is Laura Loves Lace. Laura, you've been tagged. The next person will be Shelly. Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Tag your it. And Shelly is Love, Create, Laugh. Next person. Name begins with L. Ends with a Y. And it isn't Lovey Duck. Although... I call her that, too. Letty! Miss Chica's one. You've been tagged. R -r -r Ronnie Sue Scrapper. Welcome to YouTube, honey. You've been tagged. Samantha, also known as Sammy Wright. Samantha Wright. I know you're over there in the UK. Don't try telling me that, like, the UK's time is three days behind ours and you missed my video. Are you listening? Sam? Sammy? You've been tagged. I think that's one, two, three. That's five. But you know what? I'm feeling mighty special today. And I'm going to tag some more people. Jan. Oh, Jan. Jan, who is Poke Fan 2001. You've been tagged. I got to tag Jan. Now, Jan was one of the first subscribers to me. She's one of the first people I actually chatted with on YouTube and vice versa. We started this journey together and I'm not getting tagged if you don't get tagged. So you've been tagged, Jan. Now, here's a special honorary tag your it. I have a male subscriber and like I've said to other males here on YouTube. We girls will take care of you guys. So, let's get that started. I'm a woman of my word. Jazzman22 JC Tag your it. And here are two more honorary tags. Patty, Patty, are you out there? 
put your engagement ring down on the counter. The honeymoon's over because, Patty, you've been tagged. Patty is colored sprinkle girl. And who in the world, besides me, Milo Bono, who would have the nerve and the audacity to tag Glitter Girl? Now, I am so sure that Glitter Girl is a subscriber of mine. And I will bet the way she gets all of those great ideas is from my channel. Uh-huh. Okay. I must be delirious today. I'm just kidding. But if you know Glitter Girl, tell her she's been tagged. She's one of my favorite channels to watch. And I was sitting here thinking about who do I want to hear answer this? And I would love to know what so-and-so thinks on this. And like, Glitter Girl came to mind. I want Glitter Girl's take on these questions. Hey, guys. Have a merry, merry Christmas. I don't care when you answer these questions. It's fun to play along. It's nice to get to know each other. And this is Vicki signing out. But I may be back because I got a hallway video to share with you. Yes, indeedy. I've done more shopping for myself. Talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Good luck on your tag questions.